What's up, Sun Rays? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today, I am going to be sharing with you some of the things I picked up from the Sephora Spring Savings Event sale. So yeah, got my little box here. And guys, I just went on and ordered my products versus going into the store because if y'all know me, I'm an introvert. And if you're anything like me, you'd rather order online than deal with all the people that you're going to have to deal with when you go out. So yeah, I didn't get a lot because I didn't need a lot either, but there were a few things that I wanted to um, just try out, especially from the Sephora collection, because hey, why not try to find something from the Sephora collection since that's 30% off versus, you know, 20, 15 or 10, depending on whatever tier you're at, right? Um, I did get some things that weren't Sephora collection that I just wanted to sample as well. So anyway, it's going to be nice and quick, hopefully. So um, let's just go over what I did get. So I did pick up the Sephora Big by Definition Volumizing Mascara that looks like this. And you guys know I'm in the market for a really good mascara. So far, um, the mascara that I really like and have been using, where well, there's two of them actually. So there was the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift when that whole thing went around. I picked it up and it wasn't bad. I liked it. But then recently I picked up the Fenty Beauty mascara and I've been really liking it. I just feel like it goes on a little darker, goes on a little thicker, and the thicker it is, um, as far as coating my lashes, I like that that way. I don't have to do so many um, coats back to back, and it just makes my lashes show up a little bit better since it's a little bit thicker. So that's what I have been using, but when you know Sephora was having to sale, I said well let me just try some of theirs as well because I heard a couple of late girls talking about it. I also picked up the Sephora Love the Lift mascara too because I want to see which one I like the best. One is supposed to give you a nice lift to the lashes where the other one is supposed to be volumizing. So we're going to see. So I got those things. Then also from the Sephora collection I picked up two of the micro smooth baked powders and that's because I really wasn't sure which color I needed so I got one in mahogany and I also got one in almond they look very close in color if you ask me but this one looks just a tad bit um, darker where this one looks a little bit lighter so yeah we'll see whichever one doesn't work I will return if I can and then I also picked up the Sephora colorful blush because a lot of people were saying that the blushes were really nice so I got this in the number 23 which is passionate so let's open it up well it came like this so I'm gonna take this off so I can get it open So that is the color of the blush. So we're gonna see how that looks for my complexion. It's supposed to be, if I remember correctly, like between a kind of a corally, pinkish corally or whatever. So I kind of want, um, I kind of like a more coral or peachy type um, blush I think that would look the best on my skin tone we'll see speaking of blush I didn't put any blush on today my face is just as flat as I'll get out I don't know how I forgot to put my blush on but whatever we're gonna keep going so I picked that up and then I also got this um, cult classic kit it is the Sowasu kit and it looks like that and it comes with a cleanser, serum, well, two different types of serums actually, and then a cream. So I believe, did I get this? Um, I don't remember if I got this with, with my points 
or guys I'm gonna tell you I've been buying so much stuff I can't remember if I got this with points um, or not but I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this brand so I wanted to give it a try so yeah got that from Sephora um, and I also picked up the forever mood sample pack of the fragrances by Jackie Ina so everybody was talking about that so I got my hands on that I just wanted to try it um, so yeah we'll go through the scents on this and I'll let you guys know if I like any of them. I also picked up the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm because everybody was talking about Summer Fridays. And these are hard to get your hands on because I believe I tried to get these one other time and they were sold out. I just got um, a regular nudie like color. What color did I get? Uh, Where's the color? I almost didn't see it. Vanilla. I got the color vanilla. So it's just gonna be kind of like a clear, hopefully. That's what the applicator looks like. Push it up. Oh yeah, so it's kind of just like a clear color. So we're gonna see how this is, cause y'all know I like lip stuff. So I purchase um, mainly stuff that I think I'm gonna use. I don't wear a whole, whole lot of makeup and contours and concealers and stuff like that. So of course I didn't get a lot of that stuff, but I do wear blush. And I did want to try the uh, powder just in case I ever want to just hurry up and sweep on some powder versus putting on, you know, foundation or whatever. So I did pick that up. But I definitely want to try lippies um, that everybody's talking about, mascara, because sometimes all I'll put on is a little bit of mascara and some gloss and I'll keep it moving, okay? So those are things that's going to stand out to me. I also picked up the Killian mini discovery set as well that looks like this. Wasn't planning on picking this up but I was out there and I saw it so I said you know what let me go ahead and pick this up because like I said I think in my last uh, video fragrance video I said I had the Killian's um, Love Don't Be Shy back here. It's not from Killian. It is the Dossier version of it and I like it. And I smelled a sample of the Killian one. My husband brought me home a sample one time and I liked it. So, but I've never smelled the Princess, which everybody talks about, said it's really good. And um, anyway, I don't want them to fall out, but that's what it looks like. So this has in it the Love Don't Be Shy, Love Don't Be Shy Oh Fresh, so I want to see how that smells and see if it's fresher than the other one because y'all know I'm into clean fresh scents. And then it also has the Good Girl Gone Bad and it has Angel Share. And I believe he brought me a sample of Angel Share as well, which is right here. And I believe I liked it too. I want, I want to see um, what this smells like real quick. Hmm. Mm. I do like it on here I haven't put it on my skin but I do like it it smells a little opening smell is a little fresh and then a little boozy I don't know I gotta see how it dries down but the opening I definitely like um, these other ones I'm not gonna go through all the scents of these right now because i'm sure you guys have seen enough reviews on these but you probably haven't on these so if any of them i'm going to go through those so okay so then the last thing i got is this little sample of rare beauty this is a liquid blush came in a little sample like that this is a little liquid blush. I picked this because I wanted to just sample out the liquid blushes. You guys know that I like the cream blushes from Merit, but uh, sometimes I don't want that much shine um, or dewiness from the Merit. So I wanted to try a cream blush from Rare Beauty. People were talking about it. So I just got that little sample to try. So that's pretty much um, all that I picked up this time from 
Sephora. So like I said, not a lot. Wasn't really going to get anything at all. But when I heard that Jackie Ina had these, I wanted to try these. And then I wanted to, like I said, try some of the other um, cologne scents and then mascara and lippies because I'm always... You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I may have another Sephora order coming because it seemed like I bought some other lippies as well. Anyway, if I did, I'll bring it to you. So anyway, let's go ahead real quick over Forever Mood and see how we like these scents. So it's four different scents. One is called I Am Her. This pink one here, the top one is called I Am Her. Then we have the Hard To Get in this yellow. Uh, then we have You Remind Me, this one here. And then this purple one is the NDA. So it's funny how she got them, she has them looking like diamonds or crystals, the bottles do. So let's go ahead and just go through these in order and see what my initial thoughts are. So this one is I Am Her. And okay, so on the back she has. I guess the thought process behind the scents. So I'll just read that to you. I am her. Never had to show out. I just show up. Okay. So the notes for the I am her are red velvet, pear, and raspberry. So let's see. It's not bad at all. It's not bad, but it reminds me of some other stuff that I already have. It's a very um, familiar type scent to me. So it does smell sweet. Yeah, it smells sweet and a little bit floral. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. It's okay. Once it dries down, it'll probably do better, but that's just my initial thoughts on it. It's not one that I would gravitate to just because it smells similar to some other fruity florals that I have. Now let's go in to the next one which is called Hard to Get and the notes are lemon, jasmine, and vanilla frosting. And on the back of the box it says in touch but out of reach. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see how I feel about this one right off the bat. Mm. I like this one. It's softer, not as sweet uh, initially. It's bright. It's it seems like something you would wear right now, you know, on a spring or summer day. Somewhat fresh. I like this one. It's subtle. Right now, it's subtle to me. It didn't come out real sweet like the other one. It just smells subtle, clean, a little fresh. Not clean out like in soap, but just, just nice. Just if you went outside and smelled a nice, fresh uh, spring day. That's what it smells like to me. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit more sweetness at the end, which I believe is the vanilla frosting, but it's not too much. So right now I like the hard to get. I like that one. I like that one right now initially, hard to get. And the next one is You Remind Me and the notes on this one are apricot and white florals. Apricot and white florals. And it says, you felt that too? That's what she puts about this one. You felt that too? So apricot and white florals. So let's see what we think about this one. You remind me, it's nice too. 
It's soft. It's subtle. Hold on. The apricot is subtle to me. I don't get a lot of apricot, but it is subtle, it's soft, it's a little bit sweet, so that's probably just a tad bit of apricot in it, just a little bit of sweetness. There's some freshness to it, too. So this is another one that feels like just a nice spring or summer day. Very clean, it, it, it does have like a cleanness to it, so this is one to me that I would wear as well. It seems like it's drying down a little warmer, like it's gonna have a little bit of a um, little bit of sensualness to it, but still nice. So still clean girl friendly in my opinion. So if you're like me who like more fresh, uh, fresh florals, uh, aquatic, just nice, clean scents, not necessarily soapy scents, but just clean, um, your skin, but better with a little bit of dry down into a musk or something that's going to be a little bit, um, deeper. So you still smell feminine and, um, inviting and intoxicating. That's this one to me as well. Um, just with the few notes that she said. So that one's not bad. And now last but not least, because I don't want this video to be too long, we're getting into, this one is uh, called NDA and the notes are tobacco flour, spiced rum, vanilla bean. And for this one, she says, I'll take you for everything you have. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll take you for everything you have. Okay. So let's see what this one smells like right out of the package. Okay. Yeah, it's, it, I can smell a little bit of the tobacco. Um, it's not bad at all. I quite like it. I like it. It's gonna be one of those scents that if you are someone who wants a little bit more oomph when you walk into a room, it's still not like, well, based on this, I don't know how, how well it projects and all that uh, once you're wearing it and how long it lasts and all that, but it's one of those scents, if it works like it's supposed to, People will notice you. They're probably going to ask you what you're wearing. I think it's going to be real intoxicating to men because of the tobacco and the rum scent. And then it does warm down. So it's going to be the more sensual scent probably out of all of these. I think. I think. That's what I'm saying right now. Um, but again, these are initial thoughts. My favorites just out of the package from smelling is hard to get. And you remind me those are more clean, fresh. Uh, summary those will be the ones that I would like to wear like right now um, the I am her it's just a little too it, it reminds me of one of my like a fruity floral I don't know I don't care for the I am her it's not it's not my favorite but anyway guys that's it just wanted to try these out I'm gonna give them some more tries these are my initial thoughts if my thoughts change I'll definitely let you know one of these might be one that I pick up we'll see and um, if they become one of my um, one of my favorites or whatever, I'll let you know as well. But shout out to Jackie Ina for you know her first um, collection in fragrances, and I think they smell good. But like I said, the I Am Her is probably my least favorite out of all of them. The other three are nice. It just depends on what you're looking for and what you need. But that's it, guys, for my Sephora haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll link everything in the in the description box below in case you're um, wanting to pick something up. If you shop for Sephora, let us know what you got as well in the comment section. We'd like to hear from you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.